She said she didn't want her daughter to be a statistic, but the statistics are depressing. Suicides are the second leading cause of death for teens in Canada after drunk driving. And studies, including one from 2009, suggest that one out of three students from grades 7 to 12 are bullied. And this is an experience that uh, Livy Jean knows all too well. Livy is a country musician. She had to leave her school to escape bullying. She's now booking dates and touring schools across Canada next year to speak out against bullying and raise awareness. Libby joins us from Toronto here tonight. Hey, Libby, thanks for coming in to talk about us. Thank you so much for having me. And you listen, when you see this picture, this, this, this Marjorie Raymond, I mean, what, what do you feel? I mean, a kid who's, who's a little long, younger than you, but how do you feel about when you see this kid knowing that she committed suicide because of a bully? It hurts. It's, it's such a sad thing. And for her to take her life because someone else was picking on her is is terrible for her to feel like she is trapped is such a terrible thing you know suicide is is a serious thing it's not something you can just brush off it's it's a life and she was bullied and that's why she took it and that's a big it's a big reason why bullying needs to stop and tell us about your situation I mean you were pushed um, you had your bullies as well what were the bullies doing to you I think the worst for me was the isolation, um, you know, going to school and not knowing if you're going to talk to anyone that day. And sadly, it was the girls that were the meanest. They would call me names. They would tease me. They would tell me I'm not good enough, tell me to, you know, get do something else. Don't do music because, you know, you're not good at it anyway. So it was, it was tough going home and knowing that I had no friends at school. And knowing that I, the next day I'd go to school, it would be the same thing. They were, they were cruel. They were very cruel. And, you know, I was never physically bullied, but I think mentally is one of the worst. What does it do to your self-esteem, Libby? It pushes you down. Like, you wouldn't believe it. It hurts a lot. And you don't really, you, you have no self-worth. You feel like you're not good enough. You feel like there's something wrong with you. When really there's nothing wrong with you. It's, it's really the bully that has issues. But in that aspect, we can't judge the bully because we don't know what they're going through as well. But did you ever, did you ever cry out for help? Did you ever say, I need help standing up to these bullies? I don't think I ever did. You know, I'd go home and tell my mom, like, oh, this girl's being mean to me. Like, what's wrong with me? And she'd be like, oh, I'll call the school. I'll call the school. But I was like, no, 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 no. Please, please don't call the school because... I was afraid that it would make it worse. I was afraid that the girls would gang up on me even more when there was no one else around. So I was, I guess I didn't really call out for help because I was, I was scared. And, but your solution then was to get out of school rather, rather, than, rather than face the bullies. Exactly. I, I would beg my mom to let me stay home. I'd be like, Mom, please, I'll, I'll get the homework assignment tomorrow. Just let me stay home. I... I, I don't need to take that class. I, I'm really good in that class. Just let me stay home from school. And, of course, my mom being like, you got to go to school, it, it sucked. I had to face those bullies every day. I, you know, Libby, we're talking about that the, you know, there's new legislation that they're proposing here in Ottawa that, or in, in Ontario to, to, to kick bullies out of school, if that's the solution. I just wonder, is it, you know, this is part of the schoolyard. There's nothing new about it. I mean, the sad part is that more and more kids are resorting to suicide as yeah. their solution. But who, who's got to step in to help the Livies, to, to, to help the Marjories? Who's the person? Is it, is it your friends? Is it the parents? Is it the school? Who's going to make a difference here? I think it's a, it's a bit of both. Your parents, you know, your parents have to be very supportive, as are mine, to go home and have that family support to listen to what you're dealing with and to have even that one friend to stand up for you and be like, hey, you know what, you're my friend and I care about you. And the people that don't like you or are mean to you, you know, don't just forget about them. And for the school, having teachers that are supportive and even a counselor, you know, kids should not be afraid to go talk to a counselor. And what's your message? I know you're going around now, you're, you're, you're playing your music and you're, you're talking to kids. What's your, what's your one message to the kids? That you don't have to be the victim. You can, you can find something that you love to do. Like for me, I found music and that was my outlet into 
something so great that makes me so happy and I found who I was through my music and I think if kids can find an outlet besides suicide and you know doing drastic measures then that's what they should do they should join a soccer team or you know do what they love to do no matter if they think it's if other people think it's geeky if other people say it's stupid I think they should do it you know it's okay to be yourself let, let's make you the poster girl instead of uh, poor Marjorie R Raymond and uh, that you can stand up and you can be yourself. You can. Exactly. Livy, good to talk to you tonight. Keep up the fight. Thank you very much.